What's up everyone? It's me, your girl Key, and I am back with another Black Business review for you today. In today's video, I am going to be telling you about three Black-owned businesses that I got the chance to visit during my girls' trip to Tampa, Florida. I enjoyed all three of these businesses thoroughly and I am excited to share them all with you. So let's get right into it. So my first business on my list is called Cake Drip. This is a dessert boutique, a black family owned business located. Um, they actually have two like locations, one in Hyde Park, Tampa, Florida, and then one in St. Petersburg, Tampa, Florida. They actually opened during the pandemic. Um, the daughter of the business was the one running the store while we were there and she was telling me how they have a cooking summer camp for kids by the name of ABC Chefs. It's an academy. Um, it's located in St. Louis, Missouri, I believe. That was their first business established back in 2008, but they came to Tampa, Florida um during the pandemic sometime you know we've been in this pandemic for it seems like going on three years now but they went to tampa during the pandemic and they were just taken aback by the vibe the freedom everybody was up and out and so they were like yo we need to bring a business down here and that's what started cake drip like i said they have two locations i went to the one in hyde park it's a small little boutique, literally decorated of flowers everywhere. They have over 10,000 flowers in the building and that's very evident as soon as you walk in. Legit every wall in this boutique is perfect for pictures. It's just great vibes as soon as you walk in. So it was me and three other girls that went to this boutique um, to try some items on their menu. We actually chose the chocolate tasting flight, which is like one of the grand package deals. I think it was around $80 and we were able to split it amongst our group, which is great. With the uh, chocolate tasting flight, we started off building our own chocolate bar, which I will show you guys after I explain everything. Um, we built our own chocolate bar and then we had a cheesecake tasting, different three different cheesecakes, and then we had this tray of like, um, basically a s'mores type thing. They give you roasted marshmallows. You had a cup of chocolate, a cup of sprinkles that you can dip in, enjoy, just chocolate everything. It actually reminded me so much of the chocolate bar. If you follow me on social media or you know me personally, you know I love the chocolate bar. I go there all the time. If you guys haven't checked out my review for that, make sure you check it out now. In addition to the chocolate tasting flight, you can also make your own cake. We didn't choose that package, uh, but apparently they supply everything from the cake itself, the icing, any toppings, all that type of stuff. And they also provide complimentary champagne with like, um, it's some type of rimming on there. It wasn't chocolate, it was more of like a sweet taste. I, f I, I wanna think it tasted like sweet tarts or something like that. I don't remember exactly, but they do have complimentary champagne and they do offer refills. So it's not like, you know, they're being stingy with the champagne. They are really there to provide a good vibe and a great experience. Um, now, typically reservations are required in order to come in and enjoy everything that Cake Drip has to offer. Whenever we got there, it was actually a little slow. We were we had the venue to ourselves basically, so we were able to walk right in. I don't think we reserved. We were able to walk right in, sit down, um, or whatever. But I do say if you plan on going here, go ahead and try to make a reservation ahead of time just in case on the weekends it's a lot busier than what we ran into. You do have to be at least 18 years of age to enter this boutique and after 6 p.m. it is 21 plus but like I said overall it was a great experience. The family was so nice just very welcoming. 
the music was great and like I said the atmosphere the scenery was just above and beyond but like I said we got to make our own chocolate bars and I have been excited I've been waiting to open my bar for this video specifically so y'all better feel special because like I said I love chocolate I have been wanting to open this but I was like you know what I'm gonna wait till I get home make my video so that we can both see how it turned out together so before making your bar you got a little sheet of three different toppings that you could put in um you get to circle your toppings I chose almonds brownie brittle and marshmallows as my three toppings to go into my chocolate you can also choose which chocolate you which flavor chocolate you would like to use so milk chocolate white chocolate dark chocolate this is actually their halloween packaging right here i don't know what their patching packaging looks like on a regular basis but this was their halloween edition i went during halloween weekend so that definitely makes sense but i'm going to slip this baby out so that we can see what the inside looks like i've been so excited to like taste test this on camera and just you know see the masterpiece that i created because i know it's gonna turn out fire this was the first thing we did and then while we enjoyed everything else i guess they put it in a freezer or something that way it could be ready before we left this is what the bag looks like like i said i put marshmallows in there which is those bumps that you see here and then the almond and brownie builder brittle are covered on the inside. This is what the front looks like. They had a little Hershey's looking kiss mold for us to pour it in. You can kind of see the div divisions here. So let me go ahead and break off a piece to taste for you guys on camera. I have broken off a piece. You can see my marshmallows on the inside. Listen, I did that, honey. I did that. This is good. Honestly and truly. This is good. Now, the bar is pretty big. As you can see, I have chocolate crumbs everywhere, so I'm not trying to waste them. The bar is pretty big, as you can see. I love chocolate, but... It doesn't take much for me to satisfy my sweet tooth so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish this by myself I'm definitely not gonna finish it in one sitting I'm probably gonna share it with my family my boyfriend so that they can taste a piece and kind of see how they like it but it's definitely good to me like I said it was great vibes there it was so fun making our own bar and just being a part of the atmosphere like so much fun so if you're ever in the area make sure you try them out and let them know that the key exposure sent you and i will see you in my next flight business review have a good one